Hi guys, this week we're going to talk about something that agent's not going to tell you. Um, he's probably not going to like it if I tell you this. It's something related to um, LHDN. If you are, if you haven't um, liked or follow me on Facebook or Instagram, please do so by following this link. And yeah, and also, um, if you are a first-time investor or if you are thinking to buy property for your investment, I suggest you um, to go to this ebook.rapidpropertyconnect.com to download this um, becoming an investor ebook series, where you will get information how to. Um, how to do investment, how to spot your property, what kind of things that you should be looking at before you commit into an, any kind of um, property investment, and also how to think like an investor, how you're going to spot the property. So all this giving f to you for free. Just log into ebook.rapidpropertyconnect.com and just um, fill in the form and, all, and it will immediately send it to you for free right now so um i was something that um i think uh to to let you guys know as if you are investors then most probably you have property now when it comes to investment property it means that most likely you want to rent it out now here's the thing when you rent out your property in order for you the only thing that secure you and also the um the tenants is the uh, using a tenancy agreement so this is very important right so in order for um, for this tenancy agreement to be valid you have to put a stamp into it right so this step this is called stamping right the stamp you in order to make it valid and to be used in the court uh, just to protect you and the tenant but most um, most of the time, we, we hope that we don't need to execute anything of this, right? So, uh, in order to make it the, uh, the valid, you have to stamp the documents, right? Uh, to protect you and the, uh, the tenant. Now, what's so special is that, um, like I said, agents won't be liking when I tell you all this thing, right? Because back those time, um, I the way how we do things is that I will always do one round, regardless of running a business, or fixing anything, I will always do one round of DIY. When I know how it works, then I will engage people to do it for me. That's my way of doing things. If you um, all the time, um, you engage the uh, the agent to do it for you. For for example, like stamping. Um, by all means, if you if you already know how to do it, um, you can continue to do so. However, if you want to learn how to do this, then I think this is a very good video for you. Um, especially not only that um, it's easier nowadays than um, than uh, previously, but if, even nowadays um, it was like um, it, you can save money as well because agents only pay the stamping fee for you on your behalf, but then for the agents or the runners to go to the LHDN and uh, to stamp it and then bring it back to you, they incur costs. Now, when they incur costs, it means that you incur costs as well. So, if you're thinking to save on this, uh, this cost, um, is you you can also try to do it yourself because the process is very easy. You know why? In and out, it's like ten minutes. It's like very fast, right? That is using the own system where we feel use to fill up forms. Now, even now, the new one, the DFS 2.0, which is basically, uh, it's like uh, it's like less than five minutes. You just go there, get it, pay the pay, get the payment, and then get the stamp really quick and very easy. How it's gonna do it, right? I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now, this thing, I just want to show you. Um, this is the uh, digital stamping. Now, digital stamping is like I'm not sure if you can see it. This is digital stamping. Digital stamping has been uh, around for like more than eight years because I think if it's not mistaken, it's implemented back in 2011 and that is DFS 1.0, okay? Digital franking system to uh, stamp duty uh, 1.0.
but now the LHDN implemented last year June because you uh, if you already if you stamping yourself um, last year most likely they will they will encounter the DFS uh, digital franking um, stamp duty 2.0 last year because they implemented I think around um, the first run in July I think in Cyberjaya and then somewhere in in August or or October I think around around that time it just be last year. Um, they implemented the, for the whole Malaysia they are going for DFS 2.0 now what's so special about this 2.0 let me show you this uh, yeah this is the LHDN um, di digital franking stamp duty now this one uh, yeah 2018 they implemented um, how I got to know this because I, I most of the time um, I try to do it myself and most of the time I it's, it's a simple thing why would I and send send somebody to do it for me where it, where it incurred additional costs now what's what why this is so special is that um, if you're going to do it you just there are many ways you can do it the first one is that either you download the um, the software desktop software um, or you can download on the uh, the mobile phone or via the uh, the Google Play or App Store, or if you if you if you want, you can go to the um, the LGN where they have um, the PC for you to use, right? But I prefer um, these two. But among these two, I will show pro where's the pro and cons. No, this application basically just to replace um, the existing forms because the forms is taking um, so long because you need to go there fill up a lot of uh, details first thing is going to waste your time second is that you got uh, for environment as well because you, they use a lot of paper but now since they go paperless it's much easier to go with this way right um, if you going to go for the uh, desktop, so you install it and then you can it works on the uh, uh, offline, right? So you key in all the information. What basically information is that was the uh, the first tab is that the uh, the information on the tenancy, um, the date, how much is the rental, and how much uh, the uh, uh, the date um, the tenancy expired, right? All these detail in the uh, the tenancy agreement, right? The second one is that uh, are you an uh, owner or you're the runner that's actually um, paying for the stamp duty? The third one is that uh, who's the owner of the uh, the agreement, right? And the fourth one is basically the um, um, the QR code because the the QR code will be used used by the uh, the officer to pay your um to to get all the information and then um to pay um uh, for you to make the payment and then they will do the uh, the stamping for you now this is something um, semi auto i would presume because if it's but it's best to to integrate with the uh, payment gateway for example i i make all the payments i fill up all the details for the uh, agreement and then i do the stamping and then when i go to the uh, LHDN, just pop do the stamping done yeah but unfortunately this is just a semi-auto um, for the if you're using the desktop uh, application you, you still need to print out you still need to print out the hard copy with the QR code because you're not going to bring your uh, your laptop to go to the uh, or desktop to the uh, to the LHDN okay the second one which I prefer to use is that the uh, to use the phone if you use the uh, the mobile phone, let me get the uh, have a quick uh, get the uh, the phone to show you guys what is uh, I think oh quick one. Right. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, this is the uh, so I'm gonna show you um firing off this uh, the app. So this is the uh, the app itself. So it will show you the uh, the few tabs. So you just fill in all the information, and then finally you will get the the QR, Q, QR code. So this is very very easy. Why? Because um, first thing, um, the reason why they do all this um, um, digital thing, they need to this uh, they don't need to use the paper. So they is reduce here using the uh, cut off trees, right? So so why would us to to print out? To do at home and to print out and then to you know, back to square one right 
So if you use the phone, so you can, you can really fast to do, do it all over the phone and generate the QR. When you generate the QR, you don't need to print out the uh, the hard copy. Just go to the uh, LHDN and then show them the QR and then done. So it's that fast. Previously, we all, I only spent like 10 minutes in the LHDN. But with this, I think it's less than five minutes I can get it done, right? Um, and secondly, is that all the information that if you have a lot of properties, all the things, um, the address, the address, the name of the owner, um, the, um, the, yeah, the address, the name of the owner, and then the runners will be, um, will be safe inside. So you just click and then select those uh, details that you already saved. Say for example, if you're a runner of your agents, you might be good for you as well because it's easy to just click and click, click all the details and then generate, bump done, right? So these are the thing that um, um, I think very useful. And some of the people that uh, think that getting stamp getting an agreement stamp is really hard and a lot of things uh, to do but no in actual fact stamping an, an agreement is super easy you just need to do it once back those time we still need to fill up the form and everything because it's, it takes time and then it's very annoying to, to sometimes you don't have pen and then you have the uh, messy paper and then you get the uh, um, the uh, the queue number everything it's, it's like it's a lot it's like it's a like very fast fussy a lot of things to do hassle right but now when we have this we can easily um get everything the qr everything fill in pre-filled before we go to lhdn and then we get get it just make the payment and it's, it's done so i think this one if the um the the app itself integrated with the uh, payment gateway it will be much much better because with this they can easily just bring everything's done just bring the uh, the code to the counter get the stamp but now we still it's a semi auto like i said you just need you still need to pay you get it done generate the qr pick make the payment and then get the stamp so it's like uh, it's just simpler but not quite but it's, it's even better to go to the uh, to the airstream to fill out the uh, form in the uh, traditional way so yeah this week uh is something that that i want to share with you guys um something i encountered because uh i think this one for investors this maybe if you want to do it yourself you can you can save some money from here because if you if you don't want to engage on runner to do it for you but if you are if you are agents, then it's, it's even easier for you because you got everything uh, saved up. You just click, 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 and then done. Bam. Gen. You don't have to fill out the form. So yeah. But even if you're an investor, if you if you still give, um, it's okay if you if you don't have that time and then you give to agents to do it. That's fine. So anyway, uh, this is the sharing for this week. And if you haven't done so, please support me. All right. See you guys.